everybody, this is Perch, and we've got another new series from Marvel coming out uh, in October. Um, as I've been mentioning, Marvel's loading up October and the end of the year with a lot of new books for the uh, the Penguin Random House deal, and, and they seem to be really kind of aligning to last quarter, which in, in one way, as a retailer who's been doing this for a very long time, it's kind of exciting to see Marvel care about the last quarter of the year. I mean, one of the jokes was always that uh, December was this desolate wasteland. And then for a while, because of schedule slips, like they'd start a series in May and it was intending to kind of close out by November or so um, because of, of delays, it would get kind of pushed into December. So last year we got King and Black over over just over the that kind of time period. So it, it feels like they're shifting their market. I know nobody cares about this but me. But uh, but anyway. Um, here's a new title. Um, I don't think this one is a, a huge uh, move the needle kind of title, but Rebecca Roanhorse and Lucia Marcia. Um, I'm going to say L Lucia. But we do have a new title by Rebecca Roanhorse and Luca Marcia, who are bringing us Phoenix Song Echo. And this is, uh, it's, it, the announcement was made on Marvel. I have to believe this is a limited series, but uh, they do not say it that way. And they are saying that it is a series. Um, the, Marvel's been doing this, by the way, though. They, they put out a press release and they say, here's a new series. And it is, um, it, it, it's not. It's a, it's a limited series. I mean, it's, it's like, they, they're like, well, we just called it a series, limited series, whatever. Um, but I do suspect this is a limited series. Uh, but, you know, it's, it's for what it's worth, it's just being listed as a solo series. I've said the word series way too much over the last 60 seconds now. Um, but this title will basically pick up from uh, Jason Aaron's uh, Phoenix tournament that happened earlier this year, right before Heroes Were Born and before uh, World War Hulk that is also going on. Um, but this is the story of Maya Lopez, uh, who is Echo, who has now uh, dealing with uh, being the host to the Phoenix Force. So they're expecting to have this series. Uh, they said we'll have huge revelations to both Echo's past, so a bit of a, maybe a retcon about what she has done, her ancestry, and the Phoenix Force itself, uh, as well as a debut of new heroes and the shocking return of an iconic X-Men villain, uh, a mastermind. I, I, well, mastermind's over in X-Corp right now. I mean, who knows? Uh, but anyway, uh, we are getting a, a shocking return of stuff. Um, and this is uh, that the story is claiming that Echo is going to, uh, has lots of questions about what it means to host one of the most par powerful entities in the Marvel Universe. She has burning questions that demand answers and still learning her new cosmic level abilities and struggling with the Phoenix's overwhelming personality. Echo strikes out to return to her roots. Uh, but the reservation has even fewer answers and where power goes, evil follows. Someone wants Echo to fail and unleash a power only the greatest heroes in history have been able to control. Uh, so um, it, I do like it. I, <laughs> as a storyteller, I think the idea of like, She's got cosmic powers and it's hard to control and it's really tough. So what what do you do? You you go back to the reservation and you learn about your past. I I, I don't know. I I uh, it could be cool. I, I definitely think that Native American folklore and storytelling is interesting, and I do wish that more comic writers would uh, take advantage of it because there's some very there's some very neat uh, mystical kind of elements that I think would make for some great comics. Um, but uh, yeah, we'll see if it happens here. It's it's fine. I'm I'm willing to give it a shot. Uh, at any rate, this is uh, it will feature, from what we've heard, some guest appearances from the current team of the Avengers. Uh, it's already has that before mentioned, uh, you know, shocking return of a of an iconic X Men villain. Again, that's there's not too many of those, but the word iconic can mean a lot of things. Uh, but that's that's kind of the news of the day. Brand new title. Are you excited for Echo? as Phoenix, just as the character itself. And then just, uh, do, you know, what do you think about this solo series? Marvel has wanted a um, Native American indigenous people title uh, for a while. They they had the Marvel Voices book out before. And so this is, I think, um, definitely an area they want to stake out some territory in and, and have some comics. Um, and, uh, you know, the Phoenix Force is a you know, big historical deal in Marvel. Does this, uh, does this enhance things? Does it where does this all go? Um, let let me know in the comments below if you're excited about this book or not. Like and subscribe as always. And thanks for listening.